Yes, 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 we on, we on, we on, we on. Yo, good morning guys. It's Tyron here. This is absolute textbook conditions. <laughs> These conditions have lined up absolutely perfectly here. I think we're gonna get a fish immediately. There's a nice accessible bit of white water and a scum line in front. We've got a river mouth to the right of us, so that's creating a nice bit of a water zone here in front. So we're gonna walk out on this bank. Don't worry about getting a little bit too wet. We're gonna walk out on this bank and try and see if we can get out to that back bank and we're gonna work to lure through this channel. So we're gonna give it a nice cast. Got halfway there on the first cast, that's right. The fish actually usually aren't that far away anyway. So let's give it a nice cast here. Gonna have to push up. There's a good cast. Just on the edge of that scum line. So you want to be. Swells are quite big today, but that's making a very nice little zone in front here. Very nice zone here. what this lure is doing. I'm not sure if it's floating or not. It's casting decently. Might need to go put the little silver one on. Oh no, it's, it's working. What's going on guys? I'm just going to narrate you through here for the next two minutes. So basically you want to try and get your lure out as far as you can. You can see sort of in the distance of the camera there you can see this nice little section of scum line that I'm, I'm fishing. So you want to get the lure out, the butt of the rod underneath your arm if you, if you can't hold it with your arm and, and give it action at the same time. So basically you want to keep your rod tipped down and you're going to crank the lure as fast as it goes and before it breaks the surface of the water so you want it to swim subsurface so it's just below the surface of the water and you're going to apply action to the rod's tip like you can see me doing here so you're basically just sort of pulling the lure you're jerking the lure sort of towards you while you're cranking at the same time and that gives it a really nice tight sort of tail kicking action in the water and i think that is what's getting the fish to bite um, so I'm, I'm pulling it through this white water here cranking it through and, uh, and you generally just try and keep your eye on the lure and, and you'll see if there's fish following it. They just, they come out of the depths and they just come up and annihilate the birds. So I'm, I'm casting quite a good distance, probably about 100 meters and I'm, I'm reaching just in the back there where that white water is. Just in that scum line and I'm pulling it through here and that's where the fish is, is really smacking the lure. So I like to just wait a little while until there's a nice flat period. So like, like now, crank the lure in, cast it out. Sometimes you might need to give it a second or two, depends how windy it is, to just let it sort of sink just below the surface of the water. And that really helps to keep the lure swimming subsurface. 
if you don't want it to swim on the surface like a plug, then just give it a second between your retrievals to, to obviously just gain a bit of water so you've got some traction. And uh, yeah, I hope, hope this helps you guys. If you own a big I hope this helps you to get some fish. Yes, yes, we on, we on, we on, we on. Yeah, Yeah, boys. I knew there would be a fish here, guys. Big run, big run. Could be a personal best, guys. Big fish! Big! Official number nine here, guys. I foul hooked the last one. Let's hope this one's not foul hooked. Doesn't feel foul hooked. Putting up a nice tussle here. Can't see it yet. Took a very big run.
decent size. Hoping he's not foul. I don't think he is. He's big. Carrick number nine, yeah? Smacked it just on this first, first break here. You don't need to cast far, guys. But you do need to get the lure into the zone. And it does need to put a nice presence in the water. So that's why you need a rod suitable for throwing these big lures. Because they displace a lot of water. And that gets the fish to bite. So we're just going to battle him here through this wash. There's a bit of a wash in front of us. Just want to try and get him through. Oh, he's right here, he's right here, he's right here. Ah, oh, he's not too big. Garrick number nine, boys. Thanks. Number nine. Number nine. Yeah. The last six weeks or so. Okay. Nice. Can you uh, uh, just just hold it? I'm just gonna grab the fish. In. Okay. Okay. number nine for the season, guys. Probably the smallest one. Did put up a really good fight. Got him within the first uh, 10 minutes of getting down to the beach. Safe release here. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Can you hold my rod for me? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Let's get this little boy in the water. Boy. Oh, 